take the first printed version of the Talmud Bavli, which was printed in Venice, in uh, Resh Pe Gimel, 1523. There you have the word, the word for non-Jew is Goy. Sometimes Nukhri, but usually Goy. Okay, the word for Avodah Zarah is Avodah Zarah. It's not changed, it's not censored, it's not uh, somehow softened. But in later editions of the Talmud Bavli, down to the standard editions of today, the word Goy is always switched for the word Akum. The word Avodah Zarah becomes Akum also, or Avodat Kochavim. Uh, in some cases, in such, such as in the Masechet Bava Kama, the word Goy is replaced with the word Amaleki. Uh, all, kinds of, all kinds of things were done to, to uh, not, not always state things plainly as they, as they, as they were, because they, they're not either non-Jewish authorities or Jewish informers who would then inform the non-Jewish authorities would say, look, the Jews, this is what they say in the Talmud, they say such and such, they speak against Yeshua Nutsri, against Christianity, against, uh, well, you know, the Halakha distinguishes between a Jew and a non-Jew, all sorts of things of this nature. There were, there were many very good reasons to be very concerned about this. The, after all, keep in mind, as a result of precisely such um, reports that the church authorities received, in, uh, in, in the Middle Ages, you had the famous, I don't remember the year exactly, but it was in the uh, 14th century, in the 1300s, uh, you had the famous uh, event of the burning of the Talmud in Paris, in which 70 wagon loads of handwritten manuscripts of Talmud, some of them centuries old probably, were burnt. That was a tremendous blow, and basically that was the end of French Jewry, that was the end of of Judaism in France, essentially. And also, sometime after that, Jews were also expelled from France. So that was that was literally the end of Jews in France until after the revolution or something, or, or before the revolution, I don't recall. But um, <coughs> uh, that was a tremendous blow in terms of, of, of texts, simple, simply texts. Maharami Rothenburg, the Rav of the Rosh, wrote a, a special kina just about that event, which was became a standard kina that was read in, in the Beit Knesset on Tisha B'Av. It was a tremendous uh, oh. blow to the entire Jewish world, this, this event. So uh, that, that is why the Meiri, who lived um, just after that period, uh, tried to uh, come up with creative ways of explaining various statements in the Talmud, which he himself didn't believe for one moment, in order that it should not be said to the non-Jews, this is what the Jews are saying, this is what they're reading, this is what they're teaching, and therefore you have to get rid of their books. Because he lived in the south of France, this took place in, in northern France, but he knew what was going to, ha it could happen where he lived as well. 